Hey everybody, today we are going to be discussing the large Marc Jacobs Jacquard tote. Here is a closer look of the bag. I ended up going for the black Jacquard tote with the light cream on the side piping. I'm just trying to see if you can see these little details. Hopefully my camera will catch it. I feel like it's picking me up. There we go. Alright, these little details on the side. Marc Jacobs logo on the back and the tote bag Marc Jacobs is actually stitched into the front. So I went into quite a few different stores to try to find this bag. Um, I didn't really want to order it online because I wanted to get the feel. Um, and I also wasn't sure what Jacquard meant to be totally honest. Um, I knew just by looking at them online that they looked like they were thicker, um, but I wasn't 100% sure if that was the only reason. And it turns out that is really the only difference between these tote bags and their traditional um, canvas totes. So when I went into Nordstrom originally, they told me they didn't have it. So I left and I went to Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's ended up having the same tote but in the medium size and in that like cream color that I feel like most influencers have online they have like that cream color where the tote bag is in black and the piping is in black um and I really liked how that one looked like it looked super cute but it was in the medium size the one that comes with the shoulder strap and while that's awesome and it probably would be good enough for most of the things that I wanted to carry it wasn't going to be good enough for my 16 inch macbook pro and the reasons I wanted this bag um vary and I feel like having the largest size allow me to have you know like the most like variability with my potential uses so I actually own the smaller mini leather like the mini leather one um, I should have pulled it out to show you guys but I have the mini leather one and I also have the mini canvas in the olive green and both those bags are awesome they definitely have their time and place the leather one I only bring out if I feel like wearing it if I'm dressy but I'm being casual and the little green one I have traveled with before it hasn't been an issue um, but just when I can pack the majority of my things in my carry-on luggage and I just want to have like a few little things in that bag but this one um, I'm actually going on a bachelorette party in September to Nashville and on top of that like I said um, I have a few different reasons so I want to talk about my reasons for choosing this size and choosing this material so you guys might know that the Jacquard Toad is a little more than $100 more expensive than the large regular canvas one that they offer and that bag is super durable I bought that one for my sister um, before they had raised the prices like when they initially came out um, I got it for her for Christmas in the olive green color when I tell you she uses that bag all the time weekend trips you know if she has to quickly you know grab you know grab things to leave the house and you know she has to travel with more than just like a little bag like she throws it in she's not nice to it she's rough with it and honestly like it really looks pretty good I don't have that with me um, either it would have been good if I could show you but it really doesn't have like a lot of dirt on it it doesn't have any visible stains um, you know it's kept quite nice for the way that she uses it I'm somebody who's like extremely nice with my bag so I'll, like I'll never throw my bag I'll never just like place it down anywhere like I will literally just like like this everywhere I go with any bag whether it be a backpack whether it be a purse whether it be expensive whether it be inexpensive I'm very 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 nice to all my bags but the other reason why I ended up going with the black in the Jacquard um, print is because I saw a few reviews from people saying that the regular black canvas fades and I definitely didn't want to spend that much on a bag and it fade I couldn't really find anything about anyone saying this bag faded but you know if I had to assume um, you know which sometimes isn't the best thing but if I had to assume I would assume that this one isn't really gonna fade the way that um, some of the videos I saw of people saying that the regular black one fades um, is going to just because this is so much more durable so like I said I wanted to go into the store to really feel the difference I mean this one is a lot more resistant in my opinion and when I did go into Marc Jacobs I asked them what the difference was um, and they told me that you know like with the Jacquard um, you know the Marc Jacobs is stitched in which it is on the regular canvas bag it's just like printed on um, which is fine because like I said my sister has had that bag for a long time and it you know it looks great still um, but just because everything is like stitched in here and it almost feels like a double layer of canvas I would imagine that it's not going to fade and in the event it does fade which would be unfortunate um, it's not going to happen nearly as fast and at that time you know who knows where me and this bag will be <laughs> but now that we got that out of the way like I said um black was one of my color options that I was really eyeing because as much as I love the beige ones I was kind of nervous for um a few reasons a like I don't like any of my bags to have any dirt on them any stains um it'll freak me out and if I can't personally get it off um it's gonna be really hard for me to wear that bag knowing that there's some sort of blemish or stain on the bag like I probably just won't ever use it again um and I know that sounds kind of crazy but that's just the way that I am 
So if I get a beige bag, it has to be, a, or a light toned bag, um, it has to really be for like specific occasions or specific things. And one of the things that I wanted to use this bag for was for traveling. So, um, you know, it's been confirmed with many different videos from people that this can be used as a personal item. It's also been confirmed with my sister because I know she's traveled with it before. Um, but this is going to go under the seat at some point, right? So I didn't want, you know, like the beige or even the jacquard beige, you know, to go under a plain seat like this and just like stay there, you know, like slide back and forth, sideways, whatever. And then it come out and there's dirt the odds of that not entirely sure but you know typically you know people's feet stretch out or if they had a dirty bag whatever the case is um i didn't want it laying on the floor and just like picking up dust um additionally i ended up going for the larger size like i mentioned earlier because it does fit my macbook 16 inch pro so i want to also use this bag you know to go around so this bag is big enough to fit my you know my camera bag which you know, this is my camera bag. I can't show you the camera because I'm filming on it right now, but it is a Sony a7C, um, which is a full frame compact camera. And this is the case that I keep it in. Um, I did get the one with the regular lens kit, but I ended up upgrading the lens and that's how we're getting this phenomenal quality that we're seeing now. But anyway, not to talk too much about this, this fits in with literally no problem, which you know what, I'll show you that in a second, but I want to show you the inside of the bag first. Then I'll talk about everything that fits inside. So one of the things that I liked about this, and you see, I still have the tag on, this is a new purchase. Um, the inside of the bag is a light color, right? So there's the stitching, okay, in the reverse. You can tell it's stitched in, but it's light. So while this bag is what I would classify as like a black hole because it's crazy how much stuff you can fit in it, um, you know, you're not going to get lost. It's a light tone bag. I'm happy that they didn't make the whole interior black because sometimes it's hard to see things that way. Additionally, on this side, you do have this flap, okay? So it is branded with the Marc Jacobs here. You do have a zipper so you can put, you know, more personal things if you have like a passport, um, important documents, things like that. And then you do have, you know, a pocket right here. And you do have another pocket right here. So if you have like a slim wallet, you know, maybe you have mints, pads, whatever you can think. Hand sanitizer, those can go in there. And it's not going to be an issue. So now, back to the camera bag. So this is the camera bag. All right, this fits inside literally no problem. Like you can just drop it in, but I'm going to put it down nice and flat. And while it does look like that takes up a lot of room, it does. But you can still see the other end of the bag um, because there's really that much space. So on top of that, this is my 16-inch macbook pro right here absolutely obsessed this is what i will do my editing on for my youtube videos um any postings or listings to my etsy things like that and you saw how easy that fit in while my camera bag is still inside so another reason why i wanted to get this bag is because sometimes i want to take my camera i want to take my laptop maybe i want to do some on-the-go editing maybe i want to go to a starbucks maybe i want to go to an office the park whatever wherever i want to go um i didn't always want to just carry around like a boring black backpack and while that's totally okay because there are days where i do that because i just need to carry some other things um i wanted to have a cute bag to do all those things also or if i was just going around or like i said you know a weekend trip whatever the case is um but something that i was specifically thinking of especially because I don't know where I would end up doing any editing or any filming. I wanted a bag that, you know, if I was in the park, I had to put this on a park bench or the ground. Um, whatever the case is, it wasn't going to pick up a lot of dirt. And if it did, it would be really hard for you to see that. Okay, so continuing on, this is actually another one of my cameras. So inside here is my Canon G7X Mark III, which I will show you. Um, this is going to fit in no problem also, realistically. Like, I'm not ever going to carry both of these cameras together. Um, but... I have I have a little small rig on it that I got from Amazon. That's the newer that you see on the bottom. I have that, you know, screwed in there. But if I can just get I'm trying to just get the focus on there for you so you guys can see it. There we go. There is the Canon G7X Mark III. Absolutely obsessed. It's a great little camera that I will put in my case. I have some space for my little tripod, some batteries, the little tripod that I would use. I'm using right now to film. But I got this case off Amazon and again fits inside no problem so that one i will put in standing up it is not an issue maybe i'm out and i want to read okay i have my kindle scribe right here okay so this is my kindle scribe looks super cute comes with the pencil okay you flip it up this is what it looks like on the inside you can write you can read you can do it all super thin okay so right here you guys see how thin that is so we all know this is not going to be an issue to fit inside okay pen stays nice and secure and that slides right into the bag so right now at this point, I don't know if you can tell, we have the MacBook right here, Kindle Scribe is down there, my Sony camera bag, and then we have the G7X case right here, if you can see that handle, I have that sticking up. The bag is definitely getting heavier, but there is still room. Um, I should have grabbed a few more random things to like show you, but I can just talk about it. That initial pouch, um, I'm not going to stick my wallet in there now, but it's no question that it fits. My wallet fits in there, my little hand sanitizer fits in there. Um, 
portable charger fits in there, gum, pads, tampons, wipes, um, any little knickknack like that. There's so much space in that pouch and those pouches that are on the side that it literally is not impacted by the rest of the stuff I have in the bag. Um, I do like to carry a drink with me, which is what I'm going to show you. So this right here is the Brewmate Navi, Navi, Navy. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's the Navi. Um, 32 ounce leak proof tumbler. So I have water in here right now. If you guys can see there's water. Okay. It's 100% leak proof. Um, I have quite a few brewmates and I trust them a thousand percent. So I'm not scared to put this in my bag um, for the bag or for any of the electronics. So just so I have a drink when I go out, like I do have a Stanley. I have all those things, um, but I'm not going to put something that is open um, in the bag when I have all this equipment. So that fits inside. No problem. Let me show you this way. So there is the Navi cup. Lastly, we have the zipper, um, which is a really long zipper that comes off the side and you can stick it inside here. What I don't like, or I shouldn't say don't like, I guess I should just say what I prefer is on the leather bag, um, inside here, inside the, um, we'll call it this little loop, and inside the end of the zipper, they actually have a magnet. So when you stick it in, it it's magnetic and the bag will always stay like this, which is great. But on the large canvas one and all the other regular canvas ones, whether you get this jacquard print or if you get the regular one, um, it's not magnetic. So it kind of just like flops around. It's okay. I just, you know, I don't know why they wouldn't put the, the magnet in all of them, but it's fine. So that stays down here. You see the bag is pretty much um, squared out. One thing I love is that the bag does maintain its shape all around. You don't see anything like poking out. The back is flat. Um, and everything is nice and secure on the top. Um, on the side right here, there is like a little slit, um, but it's just looking at it, it's like an inch, and then the bag naturally just like goes in like this anyway. So that's secure, same thing on this side, it's secure, none of those things that you saw me put in are gonna come out. I will back up a little bit. Should have looked at what this angle would look like when I stand up, but anyway. So this is the bag right here, okay? The Marc Jacobs tote. I am 5'6 for reference, so I'll just show you what it looks like if I were holding it on my arm. I'm not sure if I would ever hold it on my arm. I probably would. Um, don't really know why I said that, but um, I will also be holding it by the handles um, if I'm ever on the move. And like I said, if I'm traveling, these large straps will just be looped around my luggage. So anyway, five, six. So here's the bag on my side. This is what it would look like. Matches my Nike shorts today. Didn't even realize that. So that's it on my left side. Here it is on my right side. Okay from behind I'm coming at you forward you can see how much this comes out honestly it is pretty comfortable um, which is great and then if I were just holding it okay on the side straight down okay so bringing it all back in now the medium small and like the mini they all have straps this large one does not have a strap um, I think that the reason it doesn't have a strap is because it would probably get pretty heavy um, because you can fit so much in this bag and depending what you put in the bag even if there was a crossbody strap it would probably be too much and it would probably you know tug a little too much like at the sides of the bag and distort it a little bit that's my guess um but if you are somebody who is not looking to use this for a 16 inch macbook pro and you just want like your 13 inch macbook um that will 100 percent fit in the medium bag i saw people putting you know videos of them like slipping their laptop in i don't personally have that one but when i did hold it in the store because i was debating between the sizes and the strap um just looking at it i know my 13 inch macbook is going to fit in there um and yes i have two i have a 16 inch pro and then i have my 13 inch which i use when i go to work just because it's so much lighter and easier to travel with so i don't really do any editing or anything like that on that computer um but if i had to i could so um that's my recommendation with that. So if you don't carry large things or you're not interested in using this as like a weekender bag, travel bag. Um, oh, I do want to show you one more thing just in case you were somebody who was doing like content and liked this bag. I missed it. Which will fit in no problem. This is um, a tripod that I got off Amazon. This is a tripod for my cell phone um, that I do use for content, especially when I'm doing like TikToks. I just want to show you that this literally fits inside like no problem. That's just sitting on top. And then we can rezip the entire thing again. So that's everything that's in here. Um, I hope that that helped you guys. If you were wondering if you should get this, if you were wondering if you should get the jacquard um, pattern, yes, I do think it's more durable in the cream color and the black color. Um, but if those are things that, you know, you don't really care about, then I would just go for the regular canvas one because I've really seen my sister put, put it through the ringer and um, it still looks great. I can't personally speak to the fading on the black one because this is my first black one and like I said I got this one 
because it's supposed to be more durable so I'm hoping that I don't experience that if in the event I do I will definitely come back on and make another video and just update you guys if I notice that with this but I really don't think I'm gonna see an issue just because of the way that it feels but if you are unsure go into the store check it out see if you like it and uh, that's it. So I hope you guys liked this review. If it helped you, please give it a like, follow, share, um, and I hope to keep you posted in the next video. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.